Hey there, everybody. In this episode, we're going to put together the box. So you should have already made one of each of these parts. You should have the bottom of the box made. You should have the side part made. And yes, I know we're going to have two sides, but you only need to make one for Autodesk Inventor. Um, there's the back of the box. And then, of course, there is the top side of the box. So as we look at this drawing real fast, I'm gonna have to, there we go. So um, it's labeled here, um, as, you could, as you can read, we've got one bottom side, um, two side parts, that's where it says quantity two there, and it's labeled as number two on this side and two on this side, this is our front view. When we look at it from our down view, so looking at it straight down here, we can see that the two um, circles are going kind of side to side here. And then we have the one dot for the side view. And then there's another one over there. It will look something like this. And you will make it look something like this. So as I rotate it, I've got my front view here. I've got the top view. We've got the two circles there. And then if I click my right side view, both of those holes line up perfectly. So we're making a box without a front part. Okay. So we're going to want to get started and you're going to hit assembly. You've done a good job making all kinds of different parts. Now this is the first time we've made an assembly. So click on assembly. Um, if that message pops up, just hit um, okay. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to find place. So your computer might default to this right here. You might want to hit this arrow down and hit place. And then you're going to have to find where you've saved stuff. So I save stuff to my Google Drive. I encourage you guys to save to your Google Drive and your IED folder. So we're going to bring in the bottom part first. I'm going to hit open and I'm going to hit, in this case, I got to hit OK and yes. And as I zoom out, I just need one of those. So I'm going to click on it one time. And as I, as you can see, I, I can add more, but I don't want to add more. So I'm going to do that again for you. I'm going to hit place. Drive, ID, um, bottom part. Place one of them there and then hit escape on my keyboard. All right, the next thing we want to do is this is going to be our base. We're going to build up from here. So you have to right click on it and like right click is your middle finger. So you got to use that middle finger in my class appropriately um, and hit ground it. What that does is it throws a pin on it over here and then um, it will, everything else will go to uh, that. And so what I mean by that is, let's go ahead and add the side parts. So hit place again, find your Google Drive folder and click side parts. And I'm gonna click once, I'm gonna left click twice and then I'm going to either hit escape or right click and okay. So I'm gonna to wanna to put it right there and uh oh, all of a sudden it's going through. Well, that's not quite cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to use constraints. Okay, so th there's two types of constraints we're talking about. Um, both of them are found in the mate type and there's one called mate and then there's one called flush. So what a mate does is it's kind of like gluing parts together. So you're gonna click on mate you're going to click on the top of your side part and then you're going to flip it around and you're going to click on the bottom edge of your side part. So this is the edge. Make sure you don't click on the line or the other line or even like this line. You want to click on the bottom flat part. You'll hear it snap like that and then do not forget to hit apply. So you can uh, hit the down arrow to see all of your different um, mates that you'll make, that you'll do. So first of all, everything moves in three directions. So you have your X, your Y, and your Z. We're going to add another constraint, and we're going to do the flush constraint. So I said mating is like gluing things together. Flushing is lining things up. So we're going to line one edge up with the other edge and it snapped together. Let me kind of show you what that might look like if you're looking like this. So I'm gonna hit flush, I'm gonna hit this front edge and this front 
or front surface and this front surface, you see how it snapped together. Okay, I have two different mates. I have a mate and a flush. <clears throat> now I can only move it side to side because two of the two of the axis are now constrained. And then finally, I'm gonna add another constraint and I'm gonna do a flush constraint. I'm gonna click on the side here and I'm gonna zoom in and click on the side there so that these are flush and I can hover over it and it'll show you. This, if I hover over it, it'll show you what's flush and then mating is like gluing together. So I'm gonna go over to this side. I'm gonna do the same thing, but now to this part right here. If you're having trouble getting it to um, go on this first part, getting these three uh, constraints to work, uh, flip your cup to red and let me uh, first ask your elbow partners and then ask me. So let's add a constraint and we're gonna do a mate constraint and we're gonna flip it over and zoom in and do not forget to hit apply. And then I'm going to flush the side of the side part and the side of um, the bottom part. And then I'm gonna flush the front edge and the front edge here and hit apply. And um, if I hit the down arrow, I can see that I have these three, I can hover over them. If ever you're like, oh shoot, that didn't work. You can right click and hit delete and kind of add that. So that won't move, that won't move. We're good there. Now let's add the top part. So I hit place, I look in my Google Drive, and I find my top part. I go ahead and I click that one time. I right click and hit OK. OK, we want these two uh, circles to line up um, through the middle going this way. So I'm going to hit Constrain and I'm going to flush this edge. So whatever side uh, the two circles are on um, lined up, I'm gonna go to, like if I draw a line through there, it's gonna be on this edge. And then I'm gonna line it up here. And you can see that they just flipped over and hit apply. I'm gonna wanna flush this front side with this front side hit apply. Sometimes it even works best if you lift this up and down, but don't forget to hit apply. Okay, so I've got two flushes. Now you can also see if I drag this down, that's like exactly where I wanna put it. But if I drag it down too far, you can see it's like going through the pieces of wood and you can't do that in real life. So let's go ahead and glue this top side to this bottom side. So gluing is like constraining and mating. And I'm gonna click on this top edge right here. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to click on there, hit apply, hit my home. Hey, all right, almost done. All we need to do is bring in that back piece. So I'm going to hit place. Google Drive, find my back part. And I'm going to flip it around. I clicked it once. I'm going to right click and hit OK. Um, and if you want to, you can kind of place it. Uh oh, look at that. I need to rotate this. So there's a couple ways you could do that. One way is by right clicking on it. And um, I don't ever do it this way. Oh, here it is free rotate. You can click on it and you can like rotate it around. Um, the way I do it, let me just hit Control Z, is I just try to line up by using the constraints. So I want to mate. I know I want this wider side, that edge, to glue onto this top of the bottom piece. And I'm gonna hit apply. And now if I get a little bit better view, whoops. Okay, I can see that that's where I want it and it'll fit nice and snug. Okay. And using this is super duper helpful. Um, and I'm clicking this and I'm dragging around. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this side with the side here. So I'm gonna mate that side and I'm rotating it around and I'm zooming in and I'm clicking here, I'm hitting apply. Now you can see this will slide forward and back and I want this back to be flush with the back edge here. So I'm gonna hit 
uh, constraint and mate and flush here. So I'm gonna click there. I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna hit apply. And I'm gonna hit my home view. I'm gonna check out, look at all these relationships I have. All of those relationships or mates and flushes. I can grab the parts, they're not moving because we have fully constrained all of the box. Now, make sure you save this, go file, save as, and make sure it's in your Google Drive and call this box and your initials. Hit the save button, flip your cup to red, show your teacher. Thanks for watching.